Welcome to the best of IPMAT series. Today, what we have picked up a question for you is a question from counting, permutations and combination. Okay, so let's have a look at the question. Uh, I think it's 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 a really easy question. The best part about the question is that this question appeared in the paper itself. Okay, forget about the solution. But such kind of questions coming in an IPMAT indoor paper is itself the best part about it. So even if you've started the chapter and you've done the first few concepts of the chapter of PNC, uh, you should have been able to solve this question. As always, before going to the solution, uh, try it out, pause the video, try it out, and then let's see the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. Okay, so let's see the solution. The question says that there are five parallel lines uh, on, uh, on, on a plane and there are n other parallel lines perpendicular to these five parallel lines. And we, are, uh, and we are given that there are 360 rectangles are formed. What is the value of n? Okay, so if you don't already uh, know the concept, I'll just quickly take you through it. Uh, assume that there are uh, three horizontal parallel lines and let's say there are two uh, vertical parallel lines. Okay, uh, or rather let's just make this as three also. And we are trying to count the number of rectangles formed. Understand that for any rectangle to be formed, we are going to uh, need, let us say, two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. Okay, so if you pick up these two horizontal lines and these two vertical lines, then this is going to be the rectangle. Correct. This is the rectangle we are talking about. So, every time we pick up two horizontal and two vertical lines, we are going to end up with one rectangle. That is about it which means if there are five, let us say horizontal lines, you need to pick out any two lines out of that. And there are n, let us say vertical lines, again you need to pick out any two and you should be able to get a rectangle. How many such rectangles can be formed is the counting. So how many ways can we pick out two out of five? It is as simple as saying five C2. How many ways can we pick out two lines out of n lines? It is as good as saying n C2, correct. For every two horizontal lines you pick up, you can have multiple two sets of two vertical lines. So, it is going to be 5C2 five, five into NC2. We need AND, right? We need two vertical lines, uh, two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. So, it is AND. AND in PNC you should know is multiplication. So, 5C2 into NC2 gives me 360. Correct? So, let us just quickly solve this. Uh, so, it is 5 factorial upon 2 factorial, 3 factorial. So, it is 5 into 4 upon 2, which is 10 into n factorial upon n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial, which is nothing but 360. Correct? Now, n factorial upon n minus 2 factorial. So, on the numerator, you are left with n into n minus 1. Uh, you can cancel 10 with the 0 here. Okay, uh, And the 2 can go there to become 72. So, what you are left with is n into n minus 1 is equal to 72. Now, remember that on the left hand side, n into n minus 1. Okay, you can obviously see, uh, you, can, you can form the quadratic here as n square minus n uh, minus 72 and get your answer, but you do not really need to do that. Okay, if the left hand side is n into n minus 1, remember it is multiplication of consecutive numbers, a number and the number before that, n and n minus 1. Can you think of any factors of 72 which are consecutive? Of course, 9 and 8. Okay, so n into n minus 1 is 9 into 8. You can think of 72 as 9 into 8 and hence you can directly say that n is equal to 9. Okay, so the value of n is 9 and that is about it. So yeah, it is as simple as this. As I told you, the best part about the question is that the question came in the paper itself. Okay, but anyway, so if you do not know the concept, you are still going to have a difficult time solving this question. Uh, so whenever there are horizontal and vertical lines and you are asked for uh, rectangles, uh, you know, it is as good as n c2 into m c2, whatever the number of lines or the values of n and m. So I hope this question was simple. Uh, and it should give you confidence that such kind of questions also uh, come in IPMAT indoor and you do not have to be absolutely scared about the paper. Uh, and as always, try your replica question and put the answer in the comments. See you. Happy learning.